Okay, so this is a question that I literally just got asked. Tectone, what are your thoughts on Double Banner? Okay, I've thought about this for at least five minutes and using my average IQ of probably 300 and uh, the, the mental equity of somebody above fourth grade, I thought of my correct response. This is one of those rare times where once again, people are getting angry over absolutely nothing. And I hate this mentality so much because the double banners is actually such a good step forward for the Genji community. Now, the argument that's being presented, and I actually believe I can pull up a tweet about this, and, and this is okay, because listen, I'm not gonna hold it against anybody if they have a incorrect opinion, or it's not even an opinion. Also, by the way, not to brag, just middle video, I know. Dude, I just got this artifact, and it's really good. Okay, so for the YouTube frogs, you didn't see this, got this on stream, dude, banger. And I'll be damned if I don't put that in the video, because I'm so happy with that. <laughs> It's super good. There was somebody who made a post about it. There was somebody... Okay. The double rerun banner benefits Mahoyo, more polling, more money, and whales, but seems pretty detrimental to free-to-play low spenders and new players. Less time to save, with potentially two desired characters running when you only have the premiums for one. Shared pity saves, minus nine pulls. Okay. Now, I get this mentality. I get this mentality. I 100% understand where Dish and many others with similar views get it. I get it. Self-control is going to be the key for free-to-play. No more of this building pity nonsense. I understand this. People are saying, how am I supposed to be able to save when the... Oh, hey, Bippy. What you doing, girl? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? I get it. People are like, oh, how am I supposed to save when there's two bands at the same time? What if there's Zhao and Ganyu being run at the same time? How am I supposed to save? Mahalyo's being greedy once again. I understand this take. Okay, and look, dude, a lot of people agree with this take too. 5.6k likes, I get it. But here's the thing. Well, I don't agree with Mahoyo's general business practices, I feel like the double banner was one of the best things that ever happened against Genshin Impact. And you might say, oh, well, you're a whale. It doesn't affect you. Well, first off, it doesn't affect me even more because it's a double banner for reruns. And by the way, I ain't no peasant, okay? A new five-star unit comes out. I'm going to see six of them on the spot, <laughs> Okay. I, I I will never be rolling on a double banner unless it's for somebody else. Okay? I Listen, bro. Okay, you look at my account. You look at my account. And you know what you think? Disgusting. But here's my Toma so you can feel better about yourself. I don't even have Toma. C6 cringe. And I'm only getting him passively through the rolls that I do on any banner because he's now in the center banner. Okay? Okay. So I get the concept of, oh, well... You know, two banners. If Zhao and Gan, you rerun at the same time, how am I ever supposed to be able to roll? Here's a crazy thought. Ready for this? I'm going to expand your mind. I'm going to expand your mind. Ready for this? Ready for this? Angry, angry Mahoyo people. And I get it. Once again, I'm generally with you. You understand that if two units are being put on the banners, That means that the banners that we want are gonna come twice as fast. What? 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 Are, dude, are you nuts? Dude, imagine this. Rather than the character being rerun once a year, now they can be run twice a year. So here's a great idea, okay? You can pull on the banners if you save enough for pity and get one of the units that you want from the banners, okay? You have a chance of getting lucky, and if you do, then you can just roll on the other banner, or you can just pick one, and then wait for the rerun to happen again for the other character, and it's gonna come twice as fast, okay? So hopefully, do I have your attention now? This is a complete non-fucking issue, okay? This is a complete non-fucking issue. It does not matter. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here who disagrees? Tell me the counterpoint. Tell me the counterpoint. Because literally, you just roll for one of them when they come up, and they'll come up twice as fast. And so even if you don't save up, it'll still be the same time as it is right now, because now it'll be run twice, which means you roll on which one that one first, and then you can roll for it again the next time. It'll literally not change the game state for players like that whatsoever, so there's no negative change. And the people who get lucky, it's just better. Right? For people who get lucky, it's just it's just better. Okay. I can't believe you're the first person I've heard explain the double banner in a logical way. Right? It, dude, it, it fucking drives me to the fucking wall. So here's a great idea. 
take our head, yoink it out of our ass. And now, let's do this. So basically, for free to play, nothing has changed. You have the same five months for a character that appeared once, or you have the same five months for a character you don't have enough for it. Exactly. Anyway, for free to play, nothing has changed on a bad case scenario. For a good case scenario, you might get both the units you want and not have to wait. So now, it is either the same or better. And that's it. It is the same or better. And let me tell you what's even better, 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 better. Now that there's two double banners, there's going to be way less of a chance to have two reruns of old existing characters, which is actually going to force Mahoyo in a hyper-accelerated development rate because now they can't stall as much. They can actually stall 50% less, which means there's going to be more pressure on them to make new characters, which is also very, very, very good. So all of this is a massive W. So now what I have here, let me tell you about the real issues in this game. Number one, we need more resin, okay? Feel like we should be bumped up to 200 or, Mahoya, let's put on our big boy caps. Let's not do eight minutes per one resin recharge. Let's do every five minutes we get a resin, okay? Because there is more content that you're asking us to do. Why do we have the same resin recharge rate at the beginning of the game with like 70% less content than we have right now with more content than ever? It literally makes no sense, okay? Now, I cap every day because I'm a casual, but we should not be punishing the players who want to actively play, okay? It makes no fucking sense. It makes no fucking sense. The dailies are still a absolute joke, okay? I have not done a daily in almost three months, and I'm not going to do them. I'm not going to do them because they're fucking terrible, okay? They suck, they're boring, they're not fun, and the rewards suck dick. But if we were to get a fucking condensed resin or a fragile resin every day we do our dailies, that would be fucking pog, and it probably would not break the bank too much. Okay, other than that, characters. We need she chi to be buffed. Maybe the new artifactal set fit will fix her. Who knows? Amber still needs a buff. More importantly, Yanfei doesn't even need a buff. She just needs a fix because her E does not... Dude, her E actually does not work. It literally, literally, it does not apply the proper shield level consistently. It is literally, it just does, does not work. Did I say Yanfei? Okay, I meant Zinyan. Okay, Zinyan. Fuck, dude, fuck off. It's fucking, what time is it? It's fucking, it's 6 a.m. Okay? I've been up for like 5 million hours. Okay? Listen. Let's get Chasm out. Let's get Sumero out. I don't feel like wasting Mahalio's time or the community's time by bitching about a non-issue, okay? Let's bitch about the things that fucking matter and for the things that don't fucking matter. Let's not waste your time. It's that easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name's Tecton. Zana. See you later. For all the energy that you could have used bitching about a non-issue, let's just take that out on the like and subscribe button and keep in mind for every subscribe I get from now until the end of 2021, I'll be donating 10 cents to charity. Currently, we have gained around 4,000 subs, so I'll be donating... 400 bucks to charity. So maybe we get 800K? Probably not. More like, let's be realistic. We'll probably get around 750. Would be the dream. If we get 750. Oh, dude. If we get 750, I'll donate an extra thousand at the end of the year. So please subscribe if you like. Would greatly appreciate it. Also, doing some more RL content later. Uh, and I hope you're enjoying Catching Hawkeye. Catch you on the next one. John Happies.